Hey, what's up, guys? And welcome back to another Real Madrid reveal. Real Madrid 2, Chelsea 1, final game of pre-season. Ends in a high, in a win. You know, a little bit of a comeback, a little bit of something. Obviously, two losses before with Milan and Barcelona. So to end of a win, it is obviously a positive and no surprise that was the best game of the three not just because of the result but even the performance if you go and watch the three games you would notice a drastic improvement in terms of performance throughout each game and obviously the Milan game in my opinion was the worst but it might just be because the likes of Vinicius Jr, Rodrigo and Militao are back for this game but that shows you how much of an importance your best players can be and it really does. I mean, if you take out Militao, Vallejo, you put Vallejo in, you take out Vinicius Jr, you take out Rodrigo, it's a bit of a downgrade to, you know, the likes of Andrik, Brahim or Arda Dule, but you take out any of those three and you swap any of those other three in, then again you see the drastic difference and obviously this upcoming season will be very very heavily reliant on the likes of Vinicius Jr. But obviously now he's got Mbappe there, I still can't believe that's happened but now he has got Mbappe who is gonna be there to share a lot with him and obviously there's gonna be more players that are going to be there but this game was a very dominant game I would say I thought Real Madrid played really well as we have discussed um, you know started off with a very strong line up ended the game with not so strong of a lineup, obviously with a lot of youth, youth academy players coming on. As for Chelsea, it was a bit of the other way. Started with, you know, a pretty strong squad and bringing on, you know, first team players. So they didn't really, you know, have a lot of academy players out there. They probably only had that none really. Realistically, they didn't even bring on many young attack, um, academy players. So, yeah, that shows you the difference, obviously, at Real Madrid and at Chelsea right now. But let's talk about the goals. The first goal was scored by Lucas Vasquez. I think it was Rodrigo who plays a beautiful true ball for Brahim Diaz. Cuts on to his right in the box lays it off for Lucas Vasquez a very messy goal um, not Lionel Messi but Messi on his left foot Vasquez shoots it takes a deflection and it goes in right it rolls in um, really really weak shot um, not the most powerful um, and you know Danny Ceballos was there to um, you know, make sure the goal went in, but I believe that the ball was only in over the line, so that goes down as a goal for Lucas Vasquez. The second goal, literally just like eight minutes later, was got by Brahim Diaz. This time around, Vinicius Jr. with actually not so good of a ball because I thought that ball was overhit. Like the power on that, you know, the keeper. Jurgensen, um, the new signing, was coming out for it and then suddenly he decided, you know what, I'm not going to go and get the ball and then Brahim Diaz rounds past the keeper from a tight angle, somehow scores um, a very good goal and you know, poor defensively from Chelsea from both goals but in particular the keeper Jurgensen on the second goal if you're going to stay committed and you're going to come up on the ball, you come up on the ball. Regardless whether you win the challenge, you don't win the challenge, you make a foul, at least you have, you know, determined and committed to it. But 
want to get son. He has thought, okay, I'm going to come up for the ball. And then he sees Brahim Diaz there, and he's like, okay, I'm going to backtrack. And by the time he backtracks, you know, Brahim Diaz runs past him and scores a good goal. And then, around 10 minutes later, good cross from Enzo Fernandez for Madu Weike, really good header. Um, pretty poor positioning from Courtois there, but can't really blame him for that. And afterwards, no goals, and that is the final thing. You know, Real Madrid brought on a lot of academy players in the second half, and Chelsea still couldn't find a way to score, and that is obviously a very, very, very big concern for Chelsea. But for Real Madrid, look, in a couple of days' time, about a week, we have got the UEFA Super Cup game. Now, you're going to see the big players come back. The players that we want to see. You know, Mbappe. The French players, the Spanish players, Bellingham. You know, these guys are going to come back. And it's going to be incredible to see. Um, and I can't wait to see Mbappe. I still can't believe I'm saying this. Um, to see Mbappe play in a Real Madrid shirt. But... This upcoming season will be very interesting here. Um, in my opinion, I think, you know, what will, you know, be the target for this season? You know, are we expecting another Champions League, another double? Can we do more than that? It's tough, but you start off the UEFA Super Cup against Atalanta. That is going to be the main objective. I think you have to be looking at the game and going, we should be winning this. And this is a competition that we've won before many times. You know, you only get here if you win the Champions League or Europa League. We have gotten here by winning the Champions League. We are going to come in with fights. And we're going to win it. But overall, very, very good game for Real Madrid. For Chelsea, look. Um, as of recording, they're just going to sign... You know, a few more players. You know, Pedro Neto is a player that they've gone on to sign. I don't know what's going on with Chelsea, really. You know, they've got so many good players, but can they work together? Can they be put together in a team? That is a job for Enzo Maresca to do. But, you know, it was really disappointing looking at the way Chelsea played. The defence was poor on both goals and honestly they've got so many players i believe i read on instagram that they've had they have sorry 45 first team players or something if that's true that's crazy i think they have like five or six goalkeepers right now if i'm not wrong and cap has one of them actually um so that's crazy so you think about it yeah it's about 40 plus you know first teamers which is just crazy but let me know what thoughts are down below hope you guys have enjoyed today's video hit the bell and stay subscribe to the channel if you aren't already and i'll see you guys in the next one peace